chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again a triangle abc is drawn to circumscribe a circle of radius 4 cm so what i have is i have a circle this circle is circum is inscribed in a triangle the triangle is abc and let us mark this as d the point of contact this as e and this as f let us also mark this point o as the center of this circle now we know that d is the point of contact of this tangent so od will be perpendicular to this because radius joined to the tangent is a perpendicular likewise if i join oe it will be perpendicular and if i join of this will also be perpendicular this is given as 4 the radius this is the radius 4 and this is the radius 4 he says a triangle abc is drawn to circumscribe a circle of radius 4 such that the segments bd and dc that is this segment bd and dc into which bc is divided by the point of contact d that is this point divides this segment bc into two parts the lengths are 8 and 6 respectively this length has been given as 6 and this length has been given uh, given as 8 and this length has been given as 6 what is the length of side ab we have to find out the length of this side ab so basically we have a circle of radius 4 that is contained inside a triangle and about this side it is given that it is divided into two parts by the point d one part is 8 the other part is 6 cm and we have to find out this side ab of this triangle now let us see what is available to us we can see that if we see from this perspective b is an external point from there we are drawing two tangents this one and this one we know that the length of bd will have to be equal to the length of bf as we have already done in one of our theorems similarly this c is an external point and from c one tangent is ce the second tangent is cd these two tangents will have to be equal so we can write this also as 6 cm but we have no knowledge about this af and neither about ae since we do not know this we can mark it as x and we know for sure that if this is x then this also will have to be x because the tangents from an external point a to the circle these two tangents will have to be equal to each other so now if i know about x then i will be able to find my answer for ab by adding 8 to x my whole question now rests on my ability to find out the value of this x at present we know this is 4 this is 4 this is 4 this is 6 6 8 and 8 we do not know anything about the upper part of this triangle 
Now this is definitely a tricky problem and we are unable to make any headway. We do not see anything in sight like how to reach this x. But we do know that this x can be found out because this circle when it is put inside a triangle fixes this whole side and this whole side. And intuitively we know that this x should be found out, it is fixed and it can be found out. Now in such situations we need to do some out of the box thinking. And let us see how we can go for it. Let us try to join B to O. Let us try to join this B to O. When we join B to O, this is a right angled triangle. This one you are seeing, the triangle OBD. The area of this triangle will be what? The area will be half of base 8 multiplied by height 4. This is the base and this is the height. And similarly, I can see that for this triangle, 8 is the base, 4 is the height. The area of this triangle is also half of base into height. So I can see that if I similarly join A to O and also O to C, I will be able to find out the areas of each of these six triangles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And if I add them, I will be able to obtain the area of the entire triangle ABC. So let me write area ABC is equal to first of all for this one and this one. I will write 2 times half of base 8 into height 4. This and this they are equal. So this is 2 times half into 8 into 4. Put brackets here and add. Come to this upper one. The base is x and height is 4. This is a right angle triangle. Height is 4, base is x. So area will be 2 times half of x into 4. Why 2? Because this is 1 triangle, this is 1 triangle, the base is x, height is 4. Both have similar dimensions, so I have multiplied by 2. And similarly, come to this. The area will be 2 times base into height, this one. So what I have collected is the areas of these six triangles, one pair, second pair, third pair. Let us add them. This two will be cancelled with this two. I will have 32 plus this two will cancel with this two. I will have 4x and this two will cancel with this two. I will have 24. So I can write I will add 32 and 24, 4x plus 56. This is 32 and 24, make 56. So this is one statement that I have about the area of the triangle ABC. It can be written as 4x plus 56. This is one expression for the area. If I am able to find another expression for the area, then I can equate those and then I will be able to solve that equation for x. This means I have to find out the area of this triangle in terms of the three sides. If I am able to find out the area of this triangle in terms of three sides, that area will involve x. Because 8, 8, 6 and 6 everything else is known. And then I will be able to equate these two areas and obtain the value of x.
Now what is the area of triangle ABC? We will have to use the famous formula Hero's or Heron's formula. This formula allows us to obtain the area of a triangle in terms of the three sides. And the formula says that the area of a triangle is square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. S is half of the perimeter. So I will first of all collect these things and then equate then put them into this formula. Now what is S? S is half of the perimeter. So I will write half of perimeter is 8 plus 8 plus 6 plus 6 plus x plus x. This comes out to be half of 16 plus 12 plus 2x equal to half of 28 plus 2x which I can write as this, this will cancel out 14 plus x. So s is 14 plus x. Now what is s minus a? It will be 14 plus x because s is 14 plus x minus one side. This is entire side is 8 plus 6, 14. This 8 plus 6, 14 which is same as x. Similarly, s minus b, it will be 14 plus x minus b is this side which is x plus 6 which is equal to this x will cancel out 14 minus 6 equal to 8 and what is s minus c? S is 14 plus X minus this is the third side C 8 plus X which is equal to 14 minus 8 6. Now we will make substitution into this. We will write it as S is 14 plus X multiplied by this x multiplied by this 8 multiplied by this 6 and the entire square root. I am not writing the square root but what I am doing is I am just writing it as 4 into x plus 14 this is 4 into x plus 14 and I am putting a square around this square root of this has been removed as square on the right side. Now I can see this is 14 plus x, this is 14 plus x square. So I can remove the one of the 14 plus x from both the sides. This leaves me 48x. 8648 x equal to this will be 4 square 16 into one of these has been cancelled so only x plus 14 is left here. Now which implies 48x and 16x can be brought this side. 48x minus 16x equal to 16 into 14. Which implies I could have also cancelled it by 16 that would have possibly been more easy. 16, 3. So instead of writing this what we can do is this is now 3x equal to x plus 14. 3x is equal to x plus 14. Now I can take x to this side. It will be 2x equal to 14. Which implies x is equal to 7. 14 by 2 is 7. Now since x is known as 7, the length of the side AB will be 7 plus 8. 15. 7 plus 8 equal to 15 centimeter is AB which is the required answer. 
In this question, basically what we had to do was find the area of triangle ABC in two different ways. In first way, we obtained by splitting this triangle into smaller triangles and by the second way, we made use of Hiron's formula. Then both were equated and it was only a few steps of mathematics, we immediately got our answer as 15 cm. Let us move to our next question now. PQ is a chord of length 8 cm of a circle of radius 5 cm. This is a circle. Its radius is 5 cm. PQ is a chord. We can draw a chord here. This is P. This is Q. PQ is a chord of length 8 cm of a circle of radius 5 cm. The tangents at P and Q intersect at a point T. Draw tangent at point P and also draw a tangent at point Q. They meet at a point T. What is the length of the tangent TP? We have to find out this length TP. What we have been given is PQ equal to 8 and let this be the center of this circle. Join O and T. Let us also join O and P and O and Q. When the center point is joined to the point of contact of a tangent, this angle will be a right angle and this angle will be a right angle. This is 90, this is 90. A line from the center, the radius is perpendicular to the point of contact. Radius is perpendicular to the point of contact. Now, if this point be marked as K, then we can see that this angle will be 90 degrees PKO. Now why will it be 90 degrees? Let me prove that first. Now we know that this triangle TPO is congruent to the triangle TQO. This we have already proved using the right angle hypotenuse and side rule. This is the right angle. This is the right angle. Hypotenuse is common and this side is the radius. So since this triangle is congruent to this triangle, we can say that this angle and this angle will be equal to each other. If these angles are equal, then this side is common to both the triangles. I am talking about this triangle and about this triangle. This is known equal to this because of the congruency of these bigger triangles. This bigger triangle. Now come to the smaller ones. This is equal to this. This is common and the radius they are equal. So by side angle and side rule this triangle is congruent to this triangle which means this angle will be 90 and this angle will also be 90. These angles have to be equal. The only way is if both of them are 90. Another thing, this PQ has been given to us as 8. Therefore, this KP only will be 4, half. And this lower part will also be 4 because by congruency of this triangle and of this triangle, this is 4 and this also has to be 4. So this is 4, this is 4. And this radius is known to be 5. What does this imply? That this is 4, this is 5 and by Pythagoras theorem, this side, it has to be 3 because 3, 4 and 5, they form a triad or otherwise also, you can apply Pythagoras theorem to this triangle to see that 5 square hypotenuse square 
should be equal to square of 4 plus square of OK, which implies OK square is equal to 25 minus 16 equal to 9, which implies OK should be equal to 3. So this part is 3. Now we assert that this triangle, this is a right angle triangle that is triangle OPT is similar to this triangle PKO. The bigger triangle and this smaller triangle, they are similar because they have one angle of 90 degrees each. This is the 90 for this and this is the 90 for this triangle. And secondly, angle POK is common to both the triangles. This angle is common to both the triangles. This forms a part of this triangle and also a part of the bigger triangle. So by double A rule of similarity, this triangle is similar to this triangle. The third corresponding angle will be this one for the bigger triangle and this one for the smaller triangle. Now if these two triangles, this bigger and this smaller are similar, then their corresponding sides must be proportional. Now start with this PT. We'll write X. X, it is opposite to angle this one. I am writing it single tick. X is opposite to the angle with single tick. Divide by for the smaller triangle, the side opposite to the single tick is 4. So we will write 4 equal to the side opposite to this double double tick in the bigger triangle is 5. So I will write it as 5 opposite the double tick by double tick for the smaller triangle is this and the side opposite is 3. So we'll write 3 here, which implies x is equal to, take 4 to that side, 4 into 5 by 3 equal to 20 by 3 centimeters. So basically all our effort was to prove this triangle similar to this triangle. And then we had to form the ratios and we obtained the answer in a single step. This is method 1. There is another method for solving this question which is even shorter. But that will require you to remember the things. We know that if this is a right angle triangle and this side is A, this side is B, then a perpendicular from the vertex to the opposite side, if the length is P, then if you remember my geometry lectures, there I have told you already that 1 by p square is equal to 1 by a square plus 1 by b square. Go through my summary lecture that I gave for the congruent and similar triangles. There I told you about this relationship. That is reciprocal of this is equal to sum of the reciprocals of the squares of a and b. Let us apply this artifice to this triangle. We can see that P is 4 perpendicular from the vertex to the opposite side. So we can write 1 by 4 square should be equal to this x. This will be 1 by x square plus this is 5. So we can write it as which implies 1 by 16 is equal to 1 by x square plus 1 by 25. 4 square 16, 5 square 25, which implies 1 by x square is equal to 1 by 16 minus 1 by 
25. Now we have to solve this part. Take this as LCM 16 into 25 and this will be 25 minus 16. This is equal to 1 by x square which is equal to 9 by 16 into 25. Now take the reciprocal and then the square root. 16 into 25 by 9 square root which will be equal to this will be 4 this will be 5 this will be 3 the same answer 20 by 3 centimeters so this is the second method of solving the same question probably this is the shortest but it requires you to remember these relationships and in case you are not able to remember them then you can always master this art of determining similar triangles when there are a number of right angle triangles put into each other. There is a third method also of solving the same problem. The third method involves in writing this TK as Y and apply Pythagoras theorem to this triangle and then apply another Pythagoras theorem to the bigger triangle. From that you have to remove y and then you will be able to obtain x. The method is a bit long but that is also a possible way out. So the same question can be done in a number of ways but I see this one is the shortest and possibly if one as an individual is solving then this is also not very long. Let us move on to our next question.